Okay, this is the ascending aorta. The first branch is the brachiocephalic trunk. The second branch is the left common carotid. And then the third branch is the left subclavian vein. And then it goes down the descending aorta. Behind the heart, which you cannot see, is the thoracic aorta. Once it penetrates the diaphragm, it is then called the abdominal aorta, which is all this. Okay, you do have a bunch of branches off of the abdominal aorta. You start with the celiac trunk. The celiac trunk branches into the gastric artery. You have the common hepatic artery, and you have the splenic artery. The next branch is in the center right here. It's called the superior mesenteric artery. If you go down to the bottom here, this is the inferior mesenteric artery. Branching off of either side is your gonadal artery. As the abdominal aorta descends, it branches into the common iliac on either side. The common iliac artery branches into the internal iliac artery and the external iliac artery. The external iliac artery, as soon as it gets to the femur, it branches into the femoral artery and the deep femoral artery. The femoral artery travels behind the knee to become the popliteal artery and it splits. It goes to the front of the tibia, so the anterior tibial artery, which continues to the dorsal pedis artery, and then it also goes to the back of the tibia, so the posterior tibial artery.